Hey, what's going on there folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Saturday night, uh, Ju uh, July 8th, excuse me, 2023, about 10.35 p.m. Here in the state of California, latest earthquake activity does show some movement here in the Northern California with a 3.1 around the Clear Lake volcanic field. Got a, a pretty good swarm of earthquake activity ramping up here in this region now a lot of people are unfamiliar with what goes on out here around the Cobb Mountain region obviously uh, Mount Kanaktai up north here a volcano of the past but still very active below the surface now um, humans have found a way to uh, create energy by injecting raw sewage below into the heated surface or heated uh, areas below to create some type of dry steam uh, that in returns uh, creates energy and powers homes across the Bay Area. There is numerous hydrothermal operations throughout the Cobb Mountain area. It's a very interesting uh, uh, setup. I went down there a year or so ago to investigate what was going on with all this earthquake activity and everything sealed off, secured all over the place. Uh, but either way, we got a separate swarm here, individual swarm, around, uh, looks like maybe there's a facility right here, definitely nearby, there's one over here, just literally feet to the east, uh, a pretty good earthquake swarm occurring, with, uh, looks like so far the largest is going to be a 3.5, very shallow earthquake here, uh, earthquake activity, just about a kilometer or so below the surface. Hopefully these folks know what they're doing, right? Poking holes into the uh, into the Earth's surface there. It could be v relatively thin. Wouldn't want to see a new volcano pop up here somehow um, with that underground activity. Uh, either way, pretty good swarm of activity around the geysers. But there are no geysers out here. That's just a name. There's literally no geysers here in this area of Northern California. But there's plenty plenty of hydrothermal operations out here in full swing all over the place all right moving on let's go back here to the terrain see what we got uh across the region that's just very shallow earthquake activity i'm not a big fan of uh poking holes in the earth like that uh, up here into the cascadia subduction zone a little bit of activity mostly some uh twos and ones last one shows a 1.3 here into the southern end of the Cascadia Mega Thrust area. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the um, trimmer map here tonight. See what we have. 35 epicenters of trimmer, mostly around the Vancouver Island ranges, but we do have a little bit down here in southern Oregon, uh, still contributing to some of the activity we're seeing at the surface levels. Uh, we did see some movement down here, or up here, I should say, around the Strait of Juan de Fuca earlier. Uh, last night it should be dropping off the globe or at least off the map here pretty soon at 2.3 uh, around the trimmer level area at about 46 kilometers deep all right let's go ahead and check out the rest of California here uh, Bay Area relatively quiet um, further down south looks about the same as well 2.5 map and above shows not a whole lot here in Southern California of course the activity up north there very shallow movement taking place there below the surface uh, rest of the country, goodness, Yellowstone not showing anything. So let's see what's going on here at the uh, Yellowstone Super Volcano as far as seismic activity goes. Uh, I'm not really seeing too much earthquake activity whatsoever. Of course, they did have some thunderstorms rolling through earlier in the afternoon. Uh, that looks like that's what was taking place there on that graph. Uh, aside from that, uh, not a whole lot going on currently there at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, Oklahoma still seeing some movement out here west of El Reno southwest of El Reno actually um, I was just out there last month up in El Reno area just kind of touring around um, looks like that is outside the El Reno airport region now there is some I did see some pumping operations while I was out there Hard to say though, looking at this map, these do look like they uh, venture off into some type of uh, uh, pumping operations here. At least one, uh, maybe another one here. You can see the oil tank. You look very closely. Uh, so we got some earthquake activity occurring out there in Oklahoma uh, across those areas of uh, oil fields. Just 
just southwest of El Reno. Uh, further to the east, one earthquake this morning, a 2.6 out uh, in the Virginia, North Carolina border. That uh, earthquake earlier uh, this morning, it looks like about 6 o'clock or so, into the Alaska region here. Got a nice little swarm, it looks like, here across areas of the, uh, well, west of Trident Volcano. This looks like around the Mar Mount uh, Martin area, Martin area. A little bit of earthquake swarming going on there. That area has been showing some seismic activity here recently, but it's just been off and on movement. Uh, nothing in terms of uh, any volcanic, uh, well, obviously it could be volcanic activity, but there's no noticeable um, uh, affected areas around the volcano. So I'm just kind of watching it. Uh, outside of Anchorage here, north of Anchorage, 2.5, 19 kilometers deep. As uh, far as the Aleutian Trench goes, relatively quiet. One earthquake here into the Kuril Kamachaka Trench, 143 kilometers deep there for that 4.3. That earthquake coming in this morning, it looks like. Uh, the big picture, I would say, is a pretty good cluster up here across the Taiwan area. Uh, looking at some fives kicking off here. Since about noontime, my time, seen a 5.6, followed up by quite a few other earthquakes, relatively shallow south of Taiwan here, just off the plate boundary. Uh, so continue to watch that, maybe for some potential larger scale movement, definitely showing some heightened activity across this area. The um, EMSC model here, by the way, EMSC is added back onto the globe. I appreciate the uh, developer there uh, getting a hold of me and letting me know what to do to get the EMSC data back on here. So I appreciate it. Uh, but a little bit of activity stirring up here, definitely across the Taiwan area. Pretty large cluster uh, all across the Indonesia area with a uh, pretty good swarm going on here off the Sumatra coast as well. Uh, definitely a noticeable uptick here in the region as far as seismic activity goes. Quite a few fours kicking off there. Uh, over here around the Solomon Islands, did see a 5.5. Uh, earlier this evening, it looks like about 35 kilometers deep. Over here across the uh, Kermadec Trench, one earthquake earlier this morning, it looks like, a 4.6. I don't think New Zealand's seen too much activity out here. Um, not a whole lot showing up here on the map, but as always, I do want to double check, make sure that we're not missing anything. A lot of times it just gets unnoticed here, so we have to go to the official site here, GeoNet Servers, uh, to see kind of what's going on. I normally like to look at the earthquake drums here first see if I see any big signals out here uh, across the New Zealand area this movement here is from uh, la well earlier this morning it looks like about 14 hours or so ago I believe that is going to be uh, this deep earthquake uh, there in the Kermadec Islands region that was at 4.6 about 9 o'clock my time that would be um, the appropriate time there matching up with the GeoNet server is really deep earthquake uh, but far as local seismic activity here goes across New Zealand, that is the quiet spot for the most part. Uh, not a whole lot here in the last 12 hours. Definitely watch that zone though. Right now things very quiet across this area. That will always be subject to change uh, with that uh, general northwestward plate movement here across the region. That momentum that's taken place. But uh, goodness, that's a lot of earthquake activity here across the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, one earthquake here around the Volcano Islands, Japan region. This is uh, uh, around the Izu Trench, just south of here, 4.9, 32 kilometers deep. Uh, over here across the Hawaii area, did see a little bit of movement as well. A little slight uptick uh, across Mauna Loa, 2.2. Uh, we did have a 3.8 stern up down here into the Pahala area, uh, but definitely a little bit of movement up here across the Mauna Loa area. Let's go ahead and see what the hazard notification system has if they've updated anything or not um looks like the last update was on kilauea a couple days ago so uh no major changes going on otherwise this would definitely be updated doesn't look like any of the earthquake activity has been affected uh, or has affected the volcanoes currently all right uh, let's see what else we have here across the region some movement uh, showing up here across greece Mediterranean area, latest quake. Look at this, it shows a 3.5 on the map. 
they're in Turkey. I don't know. I think the USGS just tends to throw one up there to see if I mention any mention it. Of course, I'm going to mention it. It's a little odd for them to show a, a three pointer up here on the map internationally. It's just a little weird. Uh, let's see what we got here for activity here on the EMSC side. There's that four, a little bit of movement there across Turkey, some twos and threes stirring up there. And of course that 3.5 being mentioned there by the USGS. Iceland area, it looks like they're still having a swarm up here. Seen some threes and fours and some twos up here in the uh, volcano range here around the, uh, the Rec Janes Ridge area. This area is uh, showing quite a bit of volcanic activity. 4.4, the latest earthquake there uh, from earlier this morning. Atlantic Ocean, for the most part, pretty clear, quiet. South Sandwich Islands as well. Into the South America region, got one earthquake here from uh, earlier this evening. 164 kilometer deep, 4.4. Now the EMSC model here, showing a little bit more. Some twos and threes down here, which is very typical across that major plate boundary and subduction zone. See a little bit of activity over uh, across the Middle America Trench as well, a little bit further up north. Going to be, uh, uh, looks like a 4.4 earlier this morning. 50 kilometers deep here into the Middle America Trench. And of course, Pur Puerto Rico stirring up a little bit as well with some twos and threes here across the uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico area. Uh, but for the most part, uh, yeah, definitely keep an eye on the cluster of movement here across the Philippine Plate. Uh, and with this movement, uh, here in Northern California, that may not necessarily be a sign of tectonic stress out here, but maybe something uh, underneath this area, maybe potentially a larger flow of, um, of activity occurring underneath this region. Now, swarms are very common in this area. Uh, occasionally, we do see this type of swarming set up. Uh, but this is a, definitely a pretty good one. This looks like it could go on for a little bit. Uh, and the, the shallowness, though, is what's kind of bugging me a little bit. It's really shallow earthquake activity. Uh, now, I'm not for sure if this has been reviewed or not. Uh, automatic status. So this could always get uh, reviewed and updated to maybe a potential deeper uh, depth there of the earthquake activity. Because literally, this is... Um, you know, this is elevation wise, this is um, not for sure exactly what the elevation is around here. 973 meters. I think uh, it's maybe a thousand feet or so. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what elevation is up here. But uh, either way, that earthquake activity stirring there at 1.2 kilometers below the surface, that's very shallow movement. Uh, look at the last 30 days of activity. There you go. You can see that earthquake activity is very, very common out here. Uh, over a thousand earthquakes of various magnitudes in the last 30 days. Uh, but we are noticing that southward migration here. So, you know, like I say, I hope these guys know what they're doing. Poking holes there into a volcano. All right, uh, let's see what we got here for space weather activity. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, solarham.net site. Looks like we got a little bit of flaring going on here off of this uh, sunspot here on the south. That was really weird. I didn't even do anything. I just literally... That's kind of strange. All right. Ghost in the machine. Uh, are we still live? Hopefully we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Looks like a little bit of uh, flaring going on here across the south western quadrant here the sunspot area uh let's take a look at the that was just weird take a look at the structure here of uh, the sunspots and see what's going on look at this one right here getting huge uh but not super dynamically complex folks that's and unfortunately if it doesn't grow in uh, the polarity is around this main core, then it's just going to stay relatively stable. It could be, we could have one hundred times this big, taking up, you know, the majority of the sun. And if it's not, you know, super complex here, that creates this unstable environment with the magnetic structure. Uh, it's just going to, just going to sit there and look pretty. And it is, a, it's a massive sunspot. 
the visible disc here. Let me show you guys this real quick. Um, 3363. I think this is a little older. Not for sure when this was put out. Eh. Seven. Yeah, but this is a little old. The latest imagery, I'm not for sure where it's at, but yeah, see, this is still from 7.7. Seven. The latest one's going to be this one right here, a little bit more further facing the earth, but it's it's huge, but I don't, I, we'll watch it and see if this gets any more complex here uh, in the hours and days ahead. Right now, I think the main area is to watch, We're getting a little growth here within this sunspot. Notice the... Uh, darkness of the colors very close together uh, and also up here in the northern hemisphere of the sun showing some improvement in the complex structure as well uh, but we'll keep an eye on this one it's definitely a monster a very big monster sunspot 3363 that is uh, showing up there on the sun right now overall threat 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 35 x flare around five percent chance and uh, not looking at anything major going on here for the auroras for now. Uh, look at the Storm Prediction Center here. Uh, shows a little bit of uh, severe potential, it looks like, tonight. Mostly around the panhandles there, Oklahoma and Texas area. With a 5% chance there of tornado probability, it looks like. Um, stirring up. thunderstorm outlook here today it looks like for right now anyway uh, shows like a, a little noise out there going on on Saturday night well I guess it's Sunday morning now out there in central time out around Oklahoma Arkansas and portions of Texas getting in on some thunderstorm activity all right folks uh, I'm gonna call it a night again EMSC data is back on the globe along with the USGS so the EMSC uh, kind of just shows the uh, earthquakes there, some of the smaller magnitudes that the USGS does not cover for, you know, uh, they just choose not to. Uh, I would like to see them change that one day, give an option for the USGS to have uh, more coverage internationally as far as reporting the data. Uh, but for now, we'll just combine them and call it good. All right, uh, yeah, have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Peace out.